Hello and welcome back to our Surrounded Challenge Norland series. And if you are new to the channel, you can check the description for an explanation of the rules of this challenge series. But of course, I do always recommend going and checking out the previous episodes. Uh, and in the last episode, we started upgrading our mills. And we actually have three of them now at level 2. All three of these are. And we are now upgrading them to level 3 and possibly going to try to upgrade them to level 5, uh, actually. So, one of the things here, so we're, we're basically at the point where we really don't need these extra uh, 2 mills, so we're just going to delete them right now. And potentially, we may end up getting rid of this one as well, because we're going to be up to 3 workers. Yeah, we are up to 3 workers on this one. We're going to be up to 3 workers on this one pretty soon, and we don't really need more than uh, six workers at a time, really, I don't think. I think six is kind of the upper level, so it's possible that we kind of wasted a little bit of resources upgrading this one. We're going to leave it for the moment, but we're just not going to upgrade that one. But we will keep upgrading these two, and we're going to kind of do the same sort of thing here with the lumber mills. Uh, we want less of them, but them to be upgraded and having more workers on them at a time. These ones all have three. Um, now I don't remember if we actually used iron to upgrade these ones. But we're going to try to get the lumber mill upgrade as soon as possible. Luckily we do already have the trader, so hopefully he will have that book on him. Okay, so here we are at the trader, and we're probably going to sell just a few of these medical cells. Man, I hope the... How long does the mat, uh, market saturation even take to decline? Decreases steadily as populations gradually use up the exported resources. Uh, process is represented by daily consumption value of each process. Or of each product, rather. So daily consumption is four. Okay, so we can basically sell... Well, we're probably just going to sell, like... Maybe we should just wait. Uh, the thing is, we are stacking these up pretty significantly. Alright, so we'll, we'll go down to uh, 10 gold apiece. Well, 9 gold apiece. Um, and then we'll keep those bows like I was saying before. Uh, do we want to... We can't buy paper. That's way too expensive right now. Oh, and we do not want to buy really anything if we can help it because our tax is starting to get pretty dang subs substantial already. Uh, let's see then. Just going to try and hope for... The lumber mill upgrade book? Yes, okay. And that's the only one we really want at the moment. We do have prisoners, luckily, to at least sell. And that's about all we can do at the moment. At least we still have a thousand gold. But we're probably going to have to stop uh, hiring any warrior that is above level 5 combat because it's just adding way too much to our tax. Uh, we don't want that to nay us, so we're not going to hire them. Okay. Now what we're going to do, we're going to upgrade, I'm going to say, oh wait, we have to learn it first, of course. But when that is done, we are probably going to upgrade, I would say, these two, and that's what we're going to do, is basically get rid of, um, get rid of these three. But for the moment, we'll keep all but, I think, one. We'll get rid of one to try to free up a few workers. I think they're just going to be unemployed for the moment, but we can turn them into builders. Now, as you can see as well, we do have a total of 30 warriors, which means they are going to be running out of housing if we hire any further. So we're going to go ahead and place another barracks just right there, and we'll set that to build first. Uh, as far as peasants go, 2, 4, 6, 7. Yeah, so we have, we have plenty of housing for peasants. We should also have plenty of housing for our lords. So that all seems good for the moment. Now, oddly, even though we had previously sent assistance uh, to Stardale, apparently they never made it. I think this is a thing that happens when you save the game. When things are happening on the map, it often sometimes just gets cancelled. So we're going to have to uh, apparently go ahead and send this again. Kind of annoying, but we'll go ahead and do that. We actually, I got a pop-up for getting the, uh, the relationship boost. So we're going to see, but this may actually... Um, helped fight off marauders as you can see we might get that bonus again i'm not uh, not really too sure at the same time we'll go ahead and 
have somebody go and attack this, we'll have Elsa do it, I suppose. And she can just take... Everybody left, because she won't be gone very long, so I'm not too worried about not having the, uh, uh, the patrols for the moment. Hopefully nobody gets robbed in the meantime, though. Not even sure what these ban- oh, wow, they're gonna go rob the mine? No, they're just strolling, okay. Now, we also need to start upgrading these mines, but I'm not gonna set them to build priority right now, because... That is a lot of wood that is going to take. Now it looks like we have another child. Uh, this is... Wait. Wait, that's... That, that is not... Let's see, is that... Uh, hold on, where is it? Whose child is this? I imagine it's Lyra's, right? Was Lyra pregnant or was... Was Onetra pregnant? I actually do not remember. She's Varn, so I don't think so. Must be daughter of Onetra. Okay. And who's your who's your father? Um Relationships. So okay. Onetra's is Cormon, right? It's Cormon's wife. Huh. Doesn't say right here that it's Oh, okay, it's so the mother. But Cormon is not the father. Who's the father? Oh no. I have no idea. Well, that's strange. Okay, well, either way. We have another, I guess, grandchild, kind of? It says she's a bastard, so... Uh, almost certainly not Cormon's child here. Alright, let's do... Uh, well, Cormon, you can go ahead and educate her. Now, as you can see here, we did actually get that bonus again, so, uh, yeah. Um, I'm not too proud of that. That's essentially kind of cheating, um, but, I mean, all right, I guess we get a really, really strong matriarch relationship now. Um, and apparently they're just coming back home. So, okay, I think there's actually something bugged out where we could just keep sending this army back and forth over and over again, um... I guess it has nothing to do with the save this time. I have no idea why that's happening, actually. Yeah, we could just send them back again, and then we would get probably an even better relationship with them. We're not going to do that. We're just, uh, I mean, we're just not going to deal with it, I guess, and hopefully they aren't pissed off that we didn't send assistance. That's probably what's going to happen, though, is that it's going to, once this gets timed out or whatever, they're going to be mad that we didn't send assistance. Like, I did send you assistance twice, actually. And uh, you just sent them home, so... I don't know what you want from me. Okay, and good news, we actually have the training ground finally set up. We're going to set this all the way up to combat level of 20. And... We'll probably have Lyra do it. She's younger, so uh, the combat bonus that she'll get from this is probably... A lot better than what Elsa will get in the end. So we're gonna do that. And we got the new copy of the Mace Stun book. That's great. I don't think there's anything else we can really have written right now because we need three paper and we only have two. So we'll just have to deal with that for the moment. Okay, unfortunately the herbalist got broken down again. I don't know if I even want to spend the paper on this, and I don't think we have the ability... I mean, sorry, the tools to uh, fix it. But we also don't have the knowledge anymore for the herbalist, so we would have to relearn it. Which is a little unfortunate, so... We're not going to be able to repair right now. I'll just start the repair, I suppose, and suspend the work. And we'll just have to deal with that in a little while. Now, as you can see here with the coal furnace, we've finally gotten 20 coal, which isn't a lot, but we can use it to make at least some tools. So we're going to finally set the workers back up on here. Uh, it says the bonus is minus 50 for Onetra. I think that this is... Um, let's see, it's not her mood. Is she doing too many things? Is it an efficiency thing? Instructions are outdated. Okay, so that's all it is. It's just the... Uh, so basically, if you suspend the work on it for a while, it will say this, but uh, if you set the workers back up, it should the next day. Um, 
the manager should go over there and initiate new instructions and that should fix it hopefully and we're going to go to production we already have the tools being created so that's good now Amrower is being attacked by oh, okay they already killed they already killed the thief it looks like Gormon helped him out it looks like we're okay yep they're burning this guy's body so that's actually apparently how um, these these criminals are being taken care of. They just try to eventually rob our lords and then they get killed. So that's apparently what's been doing it the most. And that's probably because of this night patrol here too. Because otherwise Amraur would have to be um, defending himself pretty much by himself. Now I actually saw the marauders go in here just a second ago. Um, it looks like they lost a little bit of their troops. But I don't see the Marauders leaving, so they must have been defeated pretty soundly. And we didn't get any um, bad relation or anything. They don't seem to upset with us, so that's good. They must have registered that we sent reinforcements after all. Now, unfortunately, Amraur is really trying to play in a murder against Riordan. Um, and it doesn't seem spending time together has really been doing much here. The desire for death will be removed. And, of course, we can present the duel... I'm not sure if I want to do that. I think it's the best idea, though. Can Amraur actually win? He's got three combat versus three combat with Riordan. Uh, I don't know how long... It, it might be tonight that he decides to try to fight him. We could... Well, if he was a lord, we could try to flesh wolf hunt, but the bishop can't do that, so... At the moment, we're just going to have to kind of deal with it, and I may go ahead and do that duel uh, once the workday is over. Well, something seems a little weird because there are frequent negative thoughts of fatal fatigue and moderate fatigue. Now, this is obviously because of the rest, and the best way to take care of that is for them to drink something. There's plenty of beer, so I do not understand what is going on. What we're going to do, we're going to try to kind of disable this whole tavern for a second. And then we'll set it back up, we'll set this to priority, and then recheck everything. Hopefully that fixes it. I don't really understand. We have 150 beer, so everybody should be able to drink. Um, but yeah, the average mood is slightly low. I don't think it's too terrible. I think it's just a few people are having this fatigue issue. Um, and hopefully they decide to go drink. Um, I'm wondering if maybe there's not enough seats at the tavern. Maybe we need a second tavern. That's the only thing I can think. I'm going to uh, keep an eye on this and look at it tonight and see what's going on there. All right, a bit unfortunate here, too. Our trade agreements have expired. Um, I think that was just from time. Yeah. I think they last about 15 days each, so we're going to have to reset these up. I don't know why the light armor one dissipated as well. I think that was a more recent one that we did, so I, I don't get that. I guess they both get disbanded at the same time. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. If you're going to start two different trade routes with uh, the same city, then you may actually want to do them both at the same time. But either way, we do have a couple more bandit camps to attack, so we're going to go ahead and do that really quick. And the second one. Have Elsa do that. Or actually, no, you know what? We're gonna have uh, we're gonna have Lyra start being our second commander from now on. And we'll send eleven as well for this. There we go. So Lyra can go ahead and be our our second commander, and before too long, because she has that star as well, she is probably going to be a way better commander than anybody else that we have. Um, Onetra is not so good. Who who is it again? It's our old uh, our previous wife. That is our main commander right now. And I'm not even sure. I think it was Unetra, right? I don't. I, they must have already left then. Yep, right here. Yeah, Unetra. And she's a god of combat of six. And I think her command is like 12 or something like that. Maybe a little higher. But yeah. That's going to be very good for us to have, uh, have Lyra being a very strong commander for us. Oh, and it's 14 command from Unetra. Okay, so it is nighttime, and it looks like... 
Looks like there is enough space around here. Um, I don't know, actually. Yeah, it seems like they're okay. Maybe not enough for the entire um, the entire city of peasants to go there at once, but it looks like there's enough room, anyways, for them. So I don't I don't know what what's causing them to be all fatigued and stuff. Maybe they just don't have enough money. Actually, let's check that out. So on the finance, uh, they mostly have three spare gold. They need six in order to pay for beer. Maybe we'll give them an extra gold. We're doing okay on gold, so I don't see a particular reason not to do that. Um, yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll do that. And we'll see how that works out for them. As well, uh, looking at Flavorful Ale. Doesn't seem like they've been making much. Let's go to our statistics. Does it actually tell us? Uh, so, nine. Resources and in inventory, okay. Maybe we have to specifically set it to... No. Trader. Do not sell. Okay. That all looks good as well. Seems like they could. So maybe, maybe people are drinking the flavorful ale as well. I'm not, not really sure there. And now the level 3 mills are done, so we're going to go ahead and start those level 4s. And I think, since we now have six total workers on these two mills, we're probably okay to go ahead and get rid of this third mill. We only really need six total people making flour for us, and we're actually doing very, very good on flour as it is. Oh, hey. So Elsa is fighting Tutnubis, huh? And he's dead. Is that the only cutthroat there? Yeah, it looks like it. I don't even think Elsa really needed help with that. She's pretty strong on her own. All right, here we are on the mercenary screen once again, and we're going to pick up this macaw. Uh, three combat skill only for them. But we do have a total of 30 now. Stardale has 41. The only problem is that our guys are not as strong compared to uh, theirs. So we really need Lyra to hopefully spend more time at the training ground. She, it's the only thing that she's doing. So hopefully, hopefully, she will actually make good progress there. We're gonna have to keep an eye on it. So far, our strong- wow. Well, we have one We have one guy that's 14 combat. I don't think we hired them at that strength. Um, I wish there was a way to individually see how much tax a single unit is costing you. I have no way to, to check that, as far as I know. But... Yeah, you can't check it by hovering that tooltip, so I have no real way of knowing. We do have a flavorful ale, that's good to see. Uh, and we may even want to go ahead and use this space for further rye fields. Potentially. We're not going to do it now, though. We don't have the spare workers at the moment. Okay, so I didn't do it last night, and that was because we were mostly just kind of dealing with other things, but unfortunately, Riordan is poisoned. I am I have to assume. I have to assume this was Amraur. Uh, Amraur. He's also lost his mobility, but we do still have the option to challenge him to a duel. I think I would rather him die in a duel than I would die from poisoning, because that will be seen as suspicious circumstances, and that will really, really hurt us with the Matriarch. Um... But Riordan has a three combat skill, so I don't know. I want to do it, but it's it's risky. Amraur could die. Okay, I think we're just going to bite the bullet here. Challenge to a duel. We're going to see what happens here. We're going to see what happens. Assuming he beats Riordan, this should, uh, should complete this desire. And then Amraur will have another bishop, and he will probably eventually want to kill him too, unfortunately. Okay, we do have another one of these unique guests, and it looks like he's a person who sells books. Unique books that can't be purchased anywhere else. We're going to see about that. Uh, uh, apparently, I made him wait there while Amrar goes to see him, maybe? Or I guess he's also talking to this Artella. Alright, let's see. So we can sell, sell this uh, Maystone. It looks like we get a better price for it here. 
and the lumber mill upgrade, we're going to keep that for the moment. So it looks like these are mainly skill books, which... Not really the most interesting to me. Now, of course, the dictionaries. That could be good. Um, but yeah, they're just a little bit too spendy is the problem. Now, if we were going to do one, I would say probably Taneo would be the one to do. Do we have a Taneo book here? Yeah, right here. Um, we would have to spend a little bit of money on it. But not very much, all things considered. So we're, we're going to go ahead and do that. That seems like a decent idea. Okay, wow, look at this. So the tool price is actually uh, increased for the moment. Temporary price increase by over, or by 100%. So we're going to go ahead and sell the most that we can here. Um, let's see, whoa. Oh, wow, that price is pretty, pretty incredible, actually. Um, so we'll lose out on the light armor creation for the moment, but I think that's okay. I, I'm, I'm okay with that, personally, because... Um, we're actually making more than we would from any single piece of line armor anyways. Well, just barely. Let's see, say, uh, 14 apiece. Hmm, okay. We'll sell down to 41 then. Yeah, okay. And as for medical cells, we'll sell just up to the market saturation at 16 apiece. And we're gonna buy the paper. We're gonna buy all the paper, actually. We're gonna buy all this iron as well. Uh, probably not the coal, though. Uh, we need more maces. And we have plenty of prisoners as well. Sell all of those. And that's about all we need to sell. I almost want to get this army movement speed increase. Um, but the next thing may be... Either the Weapon Forge, or Shields. What do we need for Shields? One Iron and one Tool. So essentially two, two Iron then, right? Two Iron and a Coal, basically. Is what it costs to create a Shield. Um, they're particularly uh, effective against Spears, less effective against Maces, and completely destroyed by Axes. Huh. But they are very good protection against Arrows. And a plus 35% chance of survival. Okay. Or we could start getting ready on the heavy armor, but then we're going to need the smelting furnace. Okay, we're going to actually... We're going to actually pick up the smelting furnace and the heavy armor. Because then we can start working towards, of course, the heavy armor. Of course, we will need the steel, which is why we're getting smelting furnace in the first place. Um, but the main reason to do this is then we can equip all of our troops with heavy armor. We won't even sell this heavy armor, we'll just keep it. Equip our troops with it, and then we should have absolutely no problem steamrolling over Stardale. So I actually rather like this idea. But I think that's where we're going to call it for today. So we're going to start towards uh, the, um, the heavy armor. And once we manage to do that, I think we are probably within the next episode or two going to make some incursions here against Stardale. Uh, they've got 41, we've got 30. I think we just really need a couple more soldiers and to keep training them. And it does look like we have currently four people above 10 combat skill. Um, we can hire this one soldier at the moment. Uh, we'll hire this Varn as well. Okay. And yeah, so within the next episode or two, we can finally start taking some extra land for ourselves. Oh, well, okay, really quick. We'll go ahead and watch this duel between Amrauer and Riordan. Oh, he actually survived his poisoning entirely. He's got some minor bruises. I actually think Amrauer is going to lose this. And apparently we had some warriors desert as well. Yeah, I have a feeling that Amrauer is not going to be able to get this done. I mean, he's using a spear for some reason. I don't even know why he decided to do that. Oh, wait, hold on. Riordan is bleeding. Okay, Amrauer lost. He's unconscious. Stunned. Decent. He's only really bruised. Uh, crimes. 
Oh, so hold on. Do people know that he committed crimes? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, well, that appears to be the end of that. Uh, so hopefully Amrauer has learned his lesson now and will stop messing with the bishops. Just quit doing it, dude. Uh, we'll have Cormon spend time with Riordan because I'm starting to worry that we're going to have to pass the crown down because Amrauer is just... He has issues with the bishops. But either way, that's going to be it for this episode, so I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.